Welcome, everyone, back to the channel. I am Zach, your host here on the Yo Bro Nation YouTube channel. And this is number two, well, technically number four, in the Halloween Countdown Series 2020. Still working on the lighting for this, but I don't really care. This is fun. It's lit. It's, uh, you know, it's ominous. I could, I could pick up my and get all, ooh, creepy. <laughs> I don't know. But for this one, I'm talking about A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. Let me say right away, Susie was supposed to do this video with me. She's not feeling well. No, she doesn't have the, the thing. She doesn't have the thing. Uh, it's just a sinus infection. She gets them yearly, so... She's under the weather, but I'm more than sure she'll be back for the next video. That's done. Now, this is like a guilty pleasure movie for me. Like, I love the Nightmare on Elm Street series. Mainly because I grew up on Elm Street as a kid. So for me, it's... I don't know, it's always been like ingrained in me to watch these movies and stuff. I just, I love them. Honest to God, I love these movies. But... Let me adjust my light here. Ooh. This one, oh man. This one's got issues. As much as I've loved these movies growing up and stuff, something about this one really just, I don't know, like the more I watch it, the more I realize it's not everything I, I remember as a kid. But that's not to say it's a horrible movie. You know, the movie was made with like less than a year in between four and this one with a brand new writer. There's writer strikes going on during five, if I remember correctly. So there was a lot of issues going into this production. But as always, the standout of this movie is, of course, Robert England as Freddy Krueger. So this one was released by New Line Cinema in 1989, of course, was directed by Stephen Hopkins, and of course, Robert Shea was the producer on the film. This movie also starred Lisa Wilcox as Alice, Kelly Jo Minter as Yvonne, Danny Hassel returning as Dan, Joe Seeley as Mark, Erica Anderson as Greta, and you also had Nicholas Mealy, I think is how you say his name as Alice's dad. You also had Beatrice uh, Bo Apple, who would come in as Amanda Krueger. So, obviously, Alice and Dan were carryover from the fourth one. And one of the things I thought about when watching this movie, and again, no spoilers in this video. None at all. Um, maybe light spoilers. <clears throat> but the thing that got me with this particular video or this particular movie was you see Alice in the fourth one and you have all her friends there her brother and her other friends but where were Greta and Mark in them in the last one I, obviously you got to get a new cast because it's you know you got to have that body count right got to have someone for Freddy to fillet but where were they that's my question I guess you could say, well, now that she's dating Dan, perhaps that's where these friends came from. Maybe they were Dan's other friends. And yeah, I guess you could say that's feasible. That's possible. That could be what it is. But but yeah, Dan and Alice, they're an item. And this isn't a spoiler. It's literally in the title. But Alice is pregnant in this movie. And Freddy is somehow, as crazy as this sounds is somehow using her child to now bring himself back and now be able to once again resume his count of killing kids. Sure. Again, this is a guilty pleasure movie, but something about this, and then like the imagery that they use where they use things that look like vaginal areas. Like I'm trying to avoid words here, trying to keep this from being demonetized. But it's just, it's just weird. This movie is so, 
like in the womb almost literally if you watch it in certain scenes you're like yeah that looks like that could be kind of like what i'm thinking it is and if it's what you're thinking it is it is probably what it is there's not a lot of substance to this movie other than alice is pregnant where'd she get these new friends from i don't know because, like, even if you go from Dream Warriors, which I reviewed last year in this series, that's in the iCard over here. If you review that, you'll know that it made sense with Kristen, be, you know, making these friends in four, you know, Alice and, and Alice's brother and everything. But she still had Kincaid as a friend. You know, there was still, she still had her original friends. This just, it, I don't know, I'm harping on something. It really is kind of irrelevant in the scheme of things. It's, they need a body count, and I get that. <clears throat> but there, there is no, there's no real premise in this movie. And I always watch these movies, and I listen to these teenagers, right? Like, Alice and them, they're graduating from high school. Dan's the Valley Victorian somehow. Um, and he's... Being scouted for something for football. It's like, oh, Dan must do everything, I guess. Makes sense, right? But there is a scene, though, once Alice's dad is there, and he's recovering from alcohol, he's in AA. They do do this picture where they're all just being a goof, and it is actually a genuinely funny scene. But then you see Alice, as you get further into the movie... And she's already gone through this before. Yet she's still in front of the doctor talking about, he's trying to take my baby. Ah. And you're like, you sound crazy. You've been through this. Why are you doing this now? There's just points that they do in this movie. And it's just kind of like, that don't make sense to me. If I were this person in this situation... I wouldn't be acting so irrational about things, especially since I'd already gone through this before. And then you get Yvonne, who went to this school, I'm presuming, must have heard of the town's history, yet she doesn't believe Freddy. She just, I guess, acts like nothing happened the year prior. And, I don't know, it's crazy. Now, I will say another standout in this movie is Whit, um, Whit Hertford as Jacob, which is Alice's child, but he's more like a 12-year-old boy in this part. He's very, he's actually pretty good, I'd have to say. He is one of those better kid actors, in my opinion, who I think was... He was pretty good. He was in Jurassic Park, and he was really good at selling in that scene with, you know, with Dr. Grant, with the freaking raptor's uh, claw getting him. And he does really good here in this movie. And you and I like the dynamic between him and Alice, and I like the din dynamic between him and Freddy when you finally see it. Yes, is it a little over-the-top cheesy? Yes. Is the way Freddy being brought back was over-the-top cheesy? Yes. Essentially, Freddy dreamt himself back up using a baby who then, in turn, used his mother, Amanda Krueger, to then resurrect himself. And seeing that shot of Freddy with the weird hand and the weird foot, that, I, I don't know. Just, <clears throat> excuse me, throat strike. There's just things in this movie that are just kind of, hmm. Again, I like the movie because I just like the series as a whole, and I can look past the cheesiness. I can look past the just the madness that it was. And it made money. It actually did. It was one of the more financially uh, successful films in the series. Did it have the quality of the first movie? No. Did it have the quality of even the third movie? No. No. But it was still a really good, entertaining movie. Entertaining being the key word here. But I enjoyed it. 
I did. I enjoyed this film. I hope all of you guys did too. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. If for nothing else, it'll be something funny to watch on Halloween. But I'm Zach. I want to thank all of you guys. Next week, next week, I'm doing something that I actually reviewed back in 2018 in kind of a short film that we did, me and JD. So I'm going to give it a more proper review. Next Saturday, for the third installment of this countdown series, I'm doing Halloween 2018. And hopefully, press my fingers, Susie's feeling better and she'll be back and she'll be doing the next one with me. So thank you guys. Have a great night. Enjoy your Halloween when it comes. And remember, join the nation. <sighs> well, that was a good video. Oh man, I'm tired. I'm really tired. <clears throat> Oh, oh, I better, better move the candle out of the way. I'd hate to, oh, I'd hate to fall asleep. <sighs> I just, oh, I'm so tired. Mm, I'm falling. I'm falling off. Sleep. Ah! Oh, no, <laughs> that didn't work. You guys have a good night. I'm bad at these skits. I'll see you guys next week.